Raven Elise TV. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this full lace wig from RPG Show. It's a burgundy ombre inspired by Ashanti. The color and job on this wig is really nice with no harsh line of demarcation. It has three combs that go around the hairline as well as an adjustable drawstring elastic and it gives you a really nice natural hairline with the lace in the front and the back. Fresh out of the box, the hair is frizzy but it is very soft and tangle free. This wig comes with a really natural looking side part. The uneven hairline around the perimeter gives you a nice look instead of that rounded wiggy look. And the side part has a nice thickness to it to where it shows enough scalp to where it looks natural so you don't have to tweeze the part like on most wigs. As with all RPG show wigs, it comes in a gray box with their logo on it. When you open the box, your wig will be wrapped in a hairnet inside of a plastic bag. It comes with a free wig brush and a free wig cap to use with the wig, as well as a booklet with instructions for your wig. So this is what the wig is looking like when I just plopped it on my head for the first time. So this is my initial response, basically. Um, obviously, it's not looking too perfect right now because I haven't styled it or fixed it up yet. Only thing I did was cut off the excess lace, put it on my head, and brush it out with the brush that they gave me. So this is pretty much its original natural state, but I'm seeing some good things already. So just to give you the specs of this wig, this wig is the CLS 024, and the hair color is in Same as Celebrity, meaning the burgundy ombre that Ashanti had in the picture. And the hair length is 20 inches. The texture that I got is silky instead of yakky, and I got light brown lace, and this is a cap size number one, cap construction, glueless lace cap. So, when I picked out this wig from RPG Show, I used my experience that I got from my first wig from RPG Show. I learned a lot by getting my first wig. I had no idea what I was doing when I picked out my first wig and I picked out all the details of how I wanted it. I just kind of guessed and I just kind of picked a random thing and I was not completely happy with my choices. So I picked different choices this time. This is my original wig that I originally got from RPG Show. It is the Khloe Kardashian inspired wig. It's in a light brown color, 20 inches as well, um, but it came in a middle part instead of the side part like this one and it's just kind of a different style. When I got this wig, I picked a yakky texture instead of a silky texture like this one is. And I also picked cap size number two instead of cap size number one like I got on this one. So when I got this one, I got the yakky hair, which is much more coarse and just not silky. So I felt like because I got the yakky texture, it didn't feel as soft and it tangled and matted up in a way that I did not expect. So I was not happy with the texture of the hair. Also, I felt like the wig was too big. I tried to adjust the, the adjustable straps in the back. I don't know if you can see that right there. There is a drawstring where you can make it tighter, but it caused a lump in the back and it was just a mess. So I did feel like this cap was too big for my head. And that's because I got a cap size two, which is the bigger one. So picking yakky texture and cap size two was a mistake on my part. And I think that's why I didn't get the full experience out of this wig. So I learned my lesson and I picked cap size one, which is the tighter one. And I picked hair texture silky instead of yakky. So right off the bat, this hair feels so much better than the other one. And the wig fits my head perfectly. It's very tight, it's very secure, not too tight to where it doesn't feel like it fits, but it just fits perfectly. And the hair texture is so much better. So overall, I definitely recommend actually measuring your head and going with the measurements that they had provided on the website to make sure that you're getting the right cap size for your head size. And I do recommend the silky hair texture rather than the yakky option because I just did not like the yakky hair. This hair is a burgundy ombre. It's pretty subtle. It's not like a bright red or anything 
anything and it starts about right here and it just has this really nice burgundy color so this hair is good to wear like for an everyday style because it's not too flashy i am using the netted wig cap that they gave me in the box it was a black one this time which a lot of people complain about that because they say it doesn't work with the lace like you can see it and it causes your part to just kind of disappear because the lace is kind of see-through so when you put see-through on top of black it just creates black and you can't see the part as you can see you can't see the skin color right here it just looks black so I'm going to experiment with different ways to fix that and I will come back and show you the real finished product after I fix the part and I'm gonna layer the hair and I'm going to style the hair so we can see how it looks in its full glory. So I haven't fixed the part yet, but I did go back and cut in some layers. All I did was take my scissors and cut diagonally away from the front of my face to create some shorter layers around the front to make it look more natural and just kind of better because I just think it looks weird when it's like all one length. So that's pretty self-explanatory. If you need to know how to cut layers to frame your face, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube for that. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like before and after running the flat iron through it. I ran the flat iron through this side because I wanted to flatten this side a little bit. And um, all I did was run the flat iron through and spray a little bit of hairspray to help with the flyaways. And it's very soft and silky and smooth. And this is the side that I have not flat ironed yet. This is still exactly how it was fresh out of the box. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference of the natural state and after you flat iron it. It's a pretty big difference actually. So if you do want to wear your hair silky silky straight, you can achieve that. I usually don't wear bone straight hair, so I probably will end up using a curling iron on this hair, but I'm gonna go ahead and wear it straight for this initial video. So this is pretty much the finished look for today. But like I always say, this is just the first day of me having the wigs. After I get more time with it, I will style it differently and you can see different pictures of it on my Instagram. But since this wig did come straight, I just wanted to wear it in a straight style for the first style. And then I put some concealer on the part so that the part can look more natural since I am using a black wig cap. I did have to put concealer on the part, which I don't mind. That is the best way that works for me anyway. So I think this part looks really natural the way I have it. Um, being that this is a dark color and it kind of matches my natural hair color, um, I think it looks really natural. So there's two main things that I noticed about this hair right off the bat after I styled it. Number one is that this wig does feel thicker than my original RPG show wig. Um, I don't know if it looks much thicker, but it definitely feels like there's more hair and more weight on this wig. And um, the other one wasn't too thin or anything. I felt like it was a natural density, but this one is a little bit more thick, so it is a little bit more glamorous. And I feel like when I curl it up, it might look better than the other wig. Number two is that this wig feels a little bit more frizzy or has more flyaways than my original RPG show wig. I think that's just because I got silky instead of yakky. And with silky hair, you know that there's always flyaways and it gets kind of frizzy and staticky, which is just a characteristic of silky hair. Whether you get it on a wig or whether it grows naturally out of your head, you know that it's gonna be kind of um, staticky. So that's kind of to be expected. It's not a huge problem. All you have to do is hairspray down the flyaway and put some type of serum on it to help with the staticky frizziness so it can be more smooth. So I will be having to put some type of serum on it, I'm guessing. So I think the hairline and the parting of this wig is basically on point. It looks super natural. All I did was run some concealer. It wasn't hard to set up at all. It was really like a beginner can definitely do this. And I think that's just because when the wig came, it was already, you know, good by itself. They made sure that the part was actually kind of wide instead of just being this thin little part because that looks unnatural. When I originally got this wig, it was already, you know, just like this. I did not have to tweeze any of the hairs out of the part at all. And this is a full lace wig, so yes, you can part it anywhere and everywhere to get that natural parting look. 
but I do recommend wearing a scalp colored wig cap underneath instead of the black one that I'm wearing. That'll make it much easier because if you wear a scalp colored wig cap, you probably won't have to put concealer on it like I did because you'll have the wig cap and then the wig and the wig cap will just be showing through the lace on the wig so it will be the correct color already and you most likely won't have to put concealer or anything like that and you won't need to tweeze it because like I said, this part was already perfect when it came so yeah I'm definitely happy with this hair it's a big change from the last hair that I was wearing I was wearing that blonde hair from Wow African so changing back to this longer darker hair is a big change but I think this wig is gonna be a really good wig to have in my collection as an everyday wig this original RPG show wig that I got was gonna be my everyday wig my go-to wig but since you know I didn't like the texture and I didn't like the cap size I'm reluctant to wear this one I pretty much only wear this one for photo shoots and stuff but since this one has a better texture and it fits me better I'll definitely be able to just throw this on whenever I feel like just having an everyday look so definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you prefer shorter hair bob length or long hair like this do you prefer the darker colors like this or the lighter colors like my previous hair I'm definitely interested in you guys opinion and thoughts if you're looking for an everyday wig that's going to last a long time, look natural, feel natural, and just be totally wearable, I definitely recommend RPG Show in general, and I definitely recommend this wig specifically. Silky texture, and make sure you get your right cap size. But I think that's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!